hey everyone so today we are going to see the solution to this problem this question was asked in gate 2019 examination this question is on partial differential equation now there are a couple of ways to solve this problem now since this was asked in a competitive exam so obviously you have very less time to solve such kind of problem you can't go by your usual regular way okay so what is the usual or i would say the regular way so now if you observe this is your non homogeneous partial differential equation now why is it non homogeneous because you can see there is a term minus x e raised to t minus 2t because of that term this is a non homogeneous partial differential equation i have recorded one lecture on when you say a differential equation is homogeneous non homogeneous linear quasi linear non linear so do have a look so if you recall in engineering you might have studied heat conduction problem and there also you have seen that variable separable method and that also for homogeneous partial differential equation and for homogeneous itself you get a very bad formula so you can think what formula you will get when you will have a non homogeneous partial differential equation so obviously the usual way goes away from here okay you can't go by the usual method because for homogeneous itself you have a bad formula so for non homogeneous definitely you can't ex one can't expect that you will remember that formula okay so i will not going to use that formula so what to do next now see here you are not supposed to find the solution u actually if you see if v is u plus x e raised to t plus t square this is what given to you okay so uh, let me write it down actually so this is the partial differential equation given to you and as i told you earlier this is a non homogeneous because you have a term which is independent of u and the derivatives okay so it's a non homogeneous pde now i want to find v so now to find v one should definitely know u where u is the solution of your star pde but it's a non homogeneous obviously no one remembers that if you remember well and good you can try that but i'm not going to go by that way so now see what we will do is we try to observe these two terms over here you can see there is a quite a similarity over here so what you do is you first find what is v with respect to t so if i differentiate both side with respect to t what i get so this is nothing but plus x into e raised to t plus 2t right now what is v with respect to x it is u with respect to x plus e raised to t and what is v with respect to double x it is nothing but u x x if i put these two things in star what do i get so what is u with respect to t it is v with respect to t minus x e raised to t minus 2t is equal to what is u with respect to x x it is u x v x x minus x e raised to t minus 2t and now you can see this terms gets cancelled so what do you get is you get v with respect to t is nothing but v with respect to x x so what you get is you get a homogeneous partial differential equation and now what are the conditions now to find out the condition you first need to find what is v of 0, t right so what will be v of 0, t it is u of 0, t it is u of 0, t and what is there when you put x equal to 0 you only have t square over here and what is u of 0, t u of 0, t is going to be minus t square so minus t square plus t square which is 0 similarly what you will find you will find v of pi comma t what will be v of pi comma t it will be u of pi comma t plus x is your pi pi e raised to t plus t square but what is u of pi comma t it is minus pi e raised to t minus t square and now you see the things are becoming easy because you are getting zeros into the picture so v of 0 comma t is 0 u of pi comma t is 0 whereas if you see the question u of 0 comma t and u of pi comma t were non zero this is difficult right so this is an easy thing now what is v of x comma 0 your initial displacement so v of x comma 0 is u of x comma 0 plus x into e raised to 0 plus 0 square now what is u of x comma 0 it is sin x minus of sin cube of x Minus x plus x will get cancelled. So this is what your initial heat distribution is. Now, how will you solve the problem? That's what the question is. So if you now, if you recall, 
this is your homogeneous partial differential equation heat conduction problem with initial boundary conditions are zero that means at the end points there is no heat transfer and initially this is the heat you are passing sin x minus sin cube x if you recall the formula involves fourier series expansion i will post the link in the description for the solution as well you can see the formula from there so there you can see here you have sin x so in the option you should have sin x so look for the option where you are having sin x into the picture so if you see the option uh, are you getting sin x anywhere uh, let me just open it for you so yes here you go you can see sin x is everywhere in all the four option what was the next term in v of x comma 0 it was sin cube so when there is sin cube there will be sin triple angle sin of 3 theta is sin 3x over here yes sin 3x is over here so from that infinite series sum i mean this infinite series sums means in the solution you are getting infinite series sum see the solution if you don't remember that formula so you can see everywhere is sin x and sin 3x so it's actually not helping me but yeah, at least i know that yeah whatever i'm doing is correct now now there are two ways from here onwards either you use that formula to find to find the solution or now we have the differential equation that is v with respect to t is equal to v with respect to double x okay so you differentiate each of them and see which of the a b c d option is satisfying v with respect to t equal to v with respect to double x okay so either use that fourier series formula or you differentiate this options with respect to t and with respect to double x you will get the answer okay so i would say these are the two ways one can solve this problem uh if possible some of one, some of you can post the answer in the comment section it will help others to verify their answers thank you